What's up guys, Sarah Benjamin here for another video. As usual, I'm here with my good friend Ty. Lately on my channel, we've started a new segment on the low knee shield. We made a video on the basics and control principles of the low knee shield. So if you're not familiar with the position, definitely check that out. And then the last video that I made was kind of like four or five different sweeps from the dogfight position. Because in half guard, most of the time you're trying to get to the dogfight. Today we're going to be looking at how we can use the low knee shield to get to single leg X, X guard, and even deep half guard. So without further ado, I'll stop talking and let's get into it. So guys, low knee shield, right? I'm in this position. Guys, I have discussed everything about the mechanics of this position in my last two videos. So I don't want to just keep repeating myself. So if you haven't seen those, just check those out first. I'll link them either up above or down below. And today I just want to talk about how we have a lot of leverage here to attack the deep half, the single leg X, and the X guard. So guys, my body position is here, okay? I'm going to use my left hand as an underhook and my right hand as an underhook when I feel I have the timing to do so. So this is my starting control position, but ultimately for today's video, I want to get here. I want my head on, the, on his quad, my left hand to grip his belt, and my knee still has to be in a shielding position, okay? My first attack is going to be just to go to deep half guard or X guard. doesn't even matter which one. It just depends on what your opponent does. So how do I do that? I'm going to pull my opponent over me with my right hand underhook, left hand on the belt, and my shield like this. And see how I straighten my legs? See, in this case, I got to the deep half. I'm on my shoulder. I'm here. I can control his leg here. I can control his leg here. And then this elbow's tucked, and I'm aware of the Kimura. A lot of times that you do this, guys, it's as simple as just turning back the other way, and you can sweep your opponent. So guys, one more time, I'm here with the low knee shield, right? I got myself deep inside, head on the quad, and look, I'm just going to roll him over like this. Now, guys, I'm in the deep half. It's all about your hip motion. So guys, when I'm here, come back to your knees, I'm going to use my left foot to bring him with me. See how I crowd him by drawing my knees to my chest? Now I'm going to turn flat and straighten my legs and get to here. And now I clamp. I'm in the deep half. I can bring my hand under here for the Faria sweep. I can start to play with lapels. I can shuck him up and go for a more single leg deep half. There's a bunch of things we can do. Sometimes when you do that, your opponent will stand. So when you get into this position and you start to move him, he just starts to stand. Just like that. So guys, if he does this, look, my hook comes in, extend, my other hook comes in, and now I'm in the X car. So it's simple as that. It's, it almost seems like a gimmick. It just depends on what your opponent does. So he's on his knees, right? I'm here, I go to pull him in, he stands, and I get to the X car. So what, what did I do to get there, for those that aren't familiar? My left hook pummeled inside. The, the leg that was the low knee shield, Look, we'll go slower here. He starts to stand. I keep rocking, 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 rocking. Now look, this hook pummels in and extends. Come back. So again, this hook pummels in and extends. And then the other hook goes on top. And now I have the X guard. So how do we get to single leg X? Single leg X is going to have one minor transition prior to doing this. So I'm in the low knee shield. I'm actually going to use the low knee shield to go to half butterfly first. So my knee comes up. So I was here. Now my knee comes up and here. Okay? Careful your draw strength. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come through. I'm going to grab the outside of his pants. My hand's going to come to his armpit. And I'm just going to pull him over me just like we just did for both those transitions. And now I get to the single leg X. It's that easy, guys. So we're technically going there for half butterfly. But a lot of times I use the low knee shield to control, then I switch to the half butterfly, then I switch to the single leg X. So we're using multiple transitions. So let's turn this way. So again, the low knee shield might have been because I couldn't sweep him with butterfly. I was scared of the half butterfly to stay there. I was scared to just be playing this. So I was playing the low knee shield. I saw an opportunity. I switched to the half butterfly. Scoop my hip in. Guys, look. See how I scoop my hip in? That's very important. I scoop my hip in, and now I pull him over. Now I have the single leg X. If it's no gi, I can attack the heel. If it's gi, I can start to attack the toe hold, or I can just start to sweep. I have a bunch of videos on single leg X and X guard. So if you want some sweeps and some attack ideas from there, 
Check those out. I'll leave some links in the description. Today's video was just simple to help you start to connect all these positions together. I haven't done a deep half segment. I definitely will because I do have a more flexible take on that. Similar to Jeff Glover than to my professor Bernardo Freya. Bernardo is the most successful deep half guard player there ever was. But I am much smaller so I can use more flexibility. But guys, I just wanted to show you how to get positions connected with other positions. Because sometimes those transitional... Um, those transitional moments are what help you to beat better guys and what help you to progress faster because you start to understand I can go from low knee shield to half butterfly to single X or you can go backwards from single leg X to half butterfly to low knee shield and then you start to develop a more fluid game with more fluid movements so guys thanks to my friend Ty for being here if you like this content don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment I always try to reply oh us guys thanks so much Thanks so much for watching guys. As usual, if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps me out. Awesome.